Are you looking for the best NVMe SSD to boost your PC speed and performance? With so many options out there, finding the right one can be overwhelming. But don't worry, I've done all the research for you. Today, we're ranking the top NVMe SSDs from the weakest to the absolute best, so you can pick the perfect one for your needs. Let's dive in. If you're on a tight budget and just need a basic NVMe SSD, the Kingston NV3 is where we start. It's an entry-level option that offers PCIe Gen 4 support, but don't let that fool you. It's not a high-performance drive. While it boasts decent read and write speed, the real story is in its components. The Kingston NV3 uses QLC NAND, which is known for lower endurance compared to TLC-based SSDs. Plus, it lacks a DRAM cache, meaning you may experience slower speeds when handling large files. However, it still outperforms traditional SATA SSDs and is a great upgrade for general use. Now let's talk about the downsides. This SSD has one of the lowest endurance ratings on our list, at just 320 TBW. So if you're planning on heavy workloads like video editing or gaming, you might want to look elsewhere. Also, the three-year warranty is shorter than most competitors. So who is this SSD for? If you're just looking for an affordable NVMe drive for web browsing, office work, or casual gaming, the Kingston NV3 is a decent pick. But if you need something more powerful, keep watching because the next SSD offers a big step up. By the way, you'll find the best prices for all the SSDs in this review linked in the description below. Next up, we have the Crucial P310, which is a solid step up from the Kingston NV3. It's still a budget-friendly SSD, but this one actually takes advantage of PCIe Gen 4 speeds. With read speeds of up to 7,100 megabytes per second, it's noticeably faster than the previous SSD, making it a good choice for gamers and creatives on a budget. However, like the Kingston NV3, the Crucial P310 still uses QLC NAND, which means endurance isn't great. 440 TWB is better, but still not ideal for heavy workloads. Also, it doesn't have DRAM cache, so while it's fast in general use, performance may dip when dealing with sustained writes or large file transfers. Compared to higher-end SSDs, the P310 falls short in durability and sustained performance, but at this price point, it's one of the best budget PCIe 4.0 options available. Plus, it comes with a 5-year warranty, which is a nice bonus. So, who should consider the crucial P310? If you're a budget-conscious gamer or casual content creator, this SSD will give you great speeds without breaking the bank. And hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews. Now, if you're working with an older system that only supports PCIe 3.0, the colorful CN602 TB Pro might be your best bet. It doesn't have the insane speeds of PCIe 4.0 drives, but for a budget PCIe 3.0 SSD, it delivers solid performance. One standout feature is its endurance rating, 1280 TBW, which is much higher than the previous two SSDs. This means it can handle a lot more writes over time, making it a more reliable choice for long-term use. However, it still lacks a DRAM cache, so performance might take a hit in sustained workloads. The biggest downside? It's slower than PCIe 4.0 SSDs. If you have a newer motherboard that supports Gen 4, you'd be better off getting something faster. But for older systems or budget builds, the CN600 is a solid high endurance option. If you're looking for a reliable PCIe 3.0 SSD that won't break the bank, this is the one to get. But if you have a PCIe 4.0 system, stick around because the next SSDs are much faster. Stepping into the high performance zone, we have the WD Black SN7100. This SSD is a beast when it comes to raw speed and endurance, making it perfect for gaming, video editing, and high performance computing. Unlike the previous SSDs, the SN7100 uses TLC NAND, which is more durable than QLC. With 1200 TBW endurance, it's one of the most reliable SSDs on this list. 
It also supports PCIe Gen 4 speeds, reaching up to 7,250 megabytes per second for reads and 6,900 megabytes per second for writes. However, one drawback is that it doesn't have a DRAM cache. It uses a host memory buffer instead, which might affect performance in certain situations. But for most users, the speed and endurance easily makes up for this. If you're looking for a high-performance SSD for gaming or professional workloads, the WD Black SN7100 is one of the best choices out there. But if you want the absolute fastest NVMe SSD, we've got one more to go. And now, we've reached the king of NVMe SSDs, the Samsung 990 Pro. If you want the fastest, most reliable and most power efficient SSD on the market, this is it. No compromises, no trade-offs, just pure performance. The Samsung 990 Pro dominates with insane speeds of 7,450 megabytes for reads and 6,900 megabytes per second for writes, pushing the limits of PCIe Gen 4. Unlike the WD Black SN7100, it has a dedicated DRAM cache, which ensures smooth performance, better responsiveness, and faster file transfers. This makes the best choice for gaming, video editing, and heavy workloads. Now, let's talk about the drawbacks, and honestly, there aren't many. The only downside is the price. It's one of the most expensive NVMe SSDs out there, but you get what you pay for. Top tier speed, reliability, and endurance. So who should buy the Samsung 990 Pro? If you want the absolute best NVMe SSD money can buy, this is it. Whether you're a hardcore gamer, video editor, or professional creator, this SSD will handle anything you throw at it with ease. If budget isn't an issue, this is the SSD to get. And there you have it. The best NVMe SSDs ranked from weakest to best. Whether you're on a tight budget or looking for the ultimate high-performance SSD, there's an option for everyone. If you're ready to upgrade, check out the links in the description below for the best prices on all these SSDs. Also, if you found this review helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews and buying guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.